Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is for Aquarius for March 2023. Um, just a reminder, the uh, two highest viewed Zodiac readings uh, this month will receive a mid-month uh, big fat bonus read. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. It's a new thing, you know, I'm, I'm doing that now, so. All right. <clears throat> I just I saw a card that was flipped wrong so I want to do a quick shuffle here extra all right let's get started now this is for Aquarius god do I see another one in there what happened here what had happened yeah Somehow, the card, none of the card got. Let me just double check, you guys. These cards are like pastels, so that can be missed, you know. No, I don't see. Okay, let's just, I just want to do, this is for Aquarius, right? For March 2023. Aquarius, March 2023. That was real weird, you know. <clears throat> All right. Let me get five cards for Aquarius for March 2023. The air signs have been having like really long readings. I'm telling you, we have the Empress. We have the Ten of Cups home. Looking good, Aquarius. What else do we have? Whoops. Ooh, all right. Looking good. So you could be, okay, now let, let me get the last two cards, you know. <coughs> Looks great to me so far. Oh, look sensitivity all right oh what the this is weird look king of swords decisions Something is taking a turn. Somebody, so, something is taking a turn here for you. Your energy is Empress, Angel of Abundance. You have everything. You have happy family, happy home. You have everything that you were destined to have, right? <clears throat> Obstacle and, or advice is Queen of Cups, Sensitivity. You are the ultimate sensitive person. If you are the empress, you already know, you know about sensitivity, you know about strength, you know about everything already. <clears throat> it's either that or, you know, your look, no, this is, that's your energy. You know, male or female, that's your energy. That you are abundant, that you are fruitful, sensitive, caring, all this stuff. It doesn't matter if you're a guy. You're worried about some sense about, uh, opening up though right and at the end the resolution is leaving something toxic to go somewhere better that is weird so let's go ahead and i can't wait to find out yours is probably gonna be a long one too all right angel of abundance the empress why is that there oh. angel of abundance okay what's this okay we have the and i'm holding them up right okay we have the sun in reverse something you're not clear on the queen of cups in the reverse all right uh not very you don't have you're not very sensitive so that's what it is you're not a very sensitive person but you are an empress energy you're like a you know a toughie i don't know this could be a same sex relationship if you're if it's that way what else we have here? <clears throat> you could be the masculine, you know, but you are a female. Oh, this could be like that. Okay. Oh, that's too much. That's too much, you guys. It was like a big clump. Let me get one more card. Oh. 
Okay, there's somebody you can't you can't talk to somebody about something. You're not good at you're not good at the communication part. Okay, so so you are Empress Energy, but there's something that, that it you are good at communicating. Okay, you are good. It's just not in this particular uh, situation. Look, and it's making you have a sleepless nights. So so you could be someone. You know, you're all together. You're all good. Everything, but in a certain particular situation. You, you you having a hard time speaking up for yourself so so that's something i don't know uh tell me about this ten of cups so no one really questions you on stuff because they figure well if you want to know something because you're you know you got it all together like that that you would ask or you would speak up you know so people possibly think that there's nothing wrong everything's cool you know but you know I mean, strong people, they go through some stuff too, right? God, yeah, and a lot of cards keep wanting to flip for you. Let me get three cards. Let me get only three. Okay. This is also the Magician, but we have King of Cups here. Um, <clears throat> somebody could be trying to manifest, coming up with a decision? Oh. Okay, yeah. Somebody may be in a home that's like ha looks happy and family and happy, but maybe they're not happy. Maybe you're not really that happy there. I don't know. When you're not saying anything, you don't feel grounded there. You don't feel balanced. Maybe you don't feel welcome. Maybe the family's not accepting you, or maybe the situation's not right, or maybe you moved away and you don't like it over there. I don't know. It could be anything like that. Oh, maybe you're putting a lot into this, but you're not getting enough back. There you have it. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That could be something too. Or, you know, vice versa, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Wheel of Fortune, Angel of Destiny. Let me see what that's all about. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune, Angel of Destiny. What's that all about? Wheel of Fortune, Angel of Destiny for Aquarius or March 2023. Angel of Destiny. Gosh, another chunk, man. Okay. You got to create some sort of stability for yourself. If you want equal give and take, you got to take a leap of faith. I'm working on yourself or there will be deception. You see, you might, uh, or I don't know, but this is saying that somebody here might be codependent too much, trying to rely too much on someone else for the happiness. And, and low key, deep down, you're not happy. You're not happy there. So, I mean, it, because this is a Wheel of Fortune card right here, it's your destiny to go through this. What you And you're like, well, what do I got to go through? What you got to go through is creating your own stability for yourself, de be making yourself the de dependent, right? Like you being dependent on yourself, you take care, taking care of yourself. And I know a lot of you out there be like, I do, you know, and yeah, I know, but there's some that's not. So <laughs> I got to say it. Um, so, so yeah, so that's that. And you have to, you know, look out for whether your relationships involve equal give and take. Because what if you're the one that's always doing stuff for everybody? Ain't nobody doing shit for you. And that's taking advantage of your energy. Maybe you like helping people. Maybe you don't care. But you know what? It's depleting you. You're going to have to take a leap of faith and say, Ah, uh, no. I got to do me today. I got to take care of myself today. I got to work on my own things today. Eight of Pentacles, right? Seven of, of swords, somebody might be like, oh, well, that's selfish. Or, oh, that, uh-uh, they're selfish because you need time for you. Those are the thoughts that are coming into my head. So take that how you will, somebody out there. I know it's not every Aquarius, okay? But I'm just saying, there's someone out there that's doing a little bit too much and it's taking from you, you know? Okay. It's your destiny to figure that out, that that's happening. Something like that. I don't know. That's just, uh, you know, cards talking. What's at the bottom of the deck? Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options. So, you know, make the right ones, I guess. I guess that's what that's saying, right? I think you're going to figure it out okay. Queen of Cups, Sensitivity. 
this is the obstacle or advice. I feel like this is the advice. The advice is just try to be nice about what you're, whatever you're trying to express. I feel like that's what that is. I feel like you just have to be sensitive to the other person, what they say, and you need, and they need to do that with you too, though. It has to be a nice, even conversation. You want to talk about some sort of backstabbing energy about a, a, a queen of a queen of swords. Ooh, there might be another person here that you want to talk to somebody about. Oh shit. Nine of wands. And they're, they're, this is a card of Leo. They may be a Leo, uh, or they may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. You want to talk to somebody about backstabbing that person or what happened with that person and the backstabbing energy. Oh man, this is so trippy right now. I'm fr I'm tripping out. Like my heart is go it's going fast and I'm tripping on this, right? Like I don't know that if it resonated or not, but it's just tripping me out, you know? <laughs> oh shit. So that's what I see. Somebody's, you know, sensitive over a situation where someone backstabbed maybe this individual or I don't know. Let's get these creepy cards out of here. Ooh, the wind is starting to blow hard too. Seven of cups at the bottom of the deck, making uh, a lot of options here or no options. Resolution, six of swords. Somebody may have, have said that that person was toxic and they left them or I don't know. Shit. Tell me about the six of swords, please. Resolution, six of swords. Six of Swords, Resolution. 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 One more. Ooh, big old chunk. No, thank you. Six of Swords, Resolution. There it is. Pretty pulling teeth, man. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. King of Swords at the bottom of this deck. Ten of Swords at the bottom of this deck. <coughs> I put them there so I could see them. Can you guys see them? Oh, no. Let me just scoot them over right here. Okay. All right. There's going to be success in regards to somebody moving away from a toxic situation, but they're going to, you're going to have to get help from others. Uh, and you have a lot of options to do that. So, so yeah, you could be dealing with a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or that could be you. There's some backstabbing energy here. I don't know if that's you or that. I don't know. I don't know if it's you or them. I swear I don't know. But there's there's a lot of backstabbing energy. There, somebody needs to leave this. Yeah, and, and it looks like you might need to ask for assistance or get help from someone to help you get out of here. I feel a little tiny bit of danger. But, you know, you know your own story. Let's hope it's not yours. Let's hope it's not anyone's. But uh, it says Wheel of Fortune, too, though. Some, it's there is somebody's destiny to leave this and to to do themselves self love self uh you know independent person you know no not being dependent on anyone to take care of you this kind of thing like working for yourself getting your paycheck paying your bill you know not depending on anyone else oh, man. All right. If it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.